What's an industry secret in the field you work in? Used to screen resumes for small companies. Job requirements are more of a wish list situation. Never let some unchecked boxes deter you from applying you have no idea what the applicant pool is like. The biggest boon, especially at small companies, is someone who legitimately cares. Literally got a job last week that I was unqualified for. I said, F it. I'm running out of places to apply, let's give it a shot. Couple days later they replied, set up an interview, and I somehow have a job tomorrow morning during a pandemic. Just go for it, can't hurt you. I'm an attorney, the secret is shut the F up. There is way more butter than you think in almost every dish you eat at fancy restaurants, and that is usually the reason you won't see the amount of calories in each dish. Sauce. 5 years as a chef in Italian cuisine head chef. 8 years in an Italian kitchen. Former Bath and Body Works associate here. The scents they discontinue will come back with a different name and new marketing. They are just recycling the scents. I worked for the biggest mast, the company that owns Bath and Body Works and is a division of L brand. Contractor in Virginia for 8 years. There are so many fragrances that are a branded and recolored to a different flavor. Fragrance oil is absolutely 100% the most expensive part of any shower gel or foaming soaps we made. Odds are they have hundreds of thousands of pounds of these oils in warehouses all over the US. So they just rebrand it as something else. It's not like they are going to scrap it. Also, all this you see on the labels of shower gels and foaming soaps that say enriched with vitamin E or contains aloe vera extract is complete absolute effing bullsh. We made our batches in sizes of 40,000 pounds. In a 40 KLB batch, you had about 2 ounces of vitamin E you would add to the batch, and barely enough aloe extracts to even get it out of the effing cup to add it to the batch. They add the absolute bare minimum to have it on the label, as required by FDA. Foaming soaps are also about 65% water, so they make an absolute killing selling them. Some therapists counselors are on the wrong side of the couch, so to speak. If you feel your mental health provider is unhinged, they may very well be. Change your dirty furnace filters and clean your act coils outside. These make up an easy 30% of my calls for no heat cooling. At Goodwill 50% of what you donate ends up in the trash BC we don't have the space for it or we just deem it too ugly. As a software engineer, double your delivery date for a product in anticipation of an overeager project manager trying to get promoted. Former aircraft fueler, don't check your pets in kennels, especially in summer or winter, they are submitted to some very harsh environments. Left on belt loaders in the sweltering heat right next to running up that's loud enough to deafen human ears, let alone a dog's, it's terrible. I always feel so sorry for them. American Airlines will destroy your luggage, they get overloaded on carts, fall off on the way to the plane, and are left there to get run over by tankers and yes, fuelers, and rained on, then dragged to the edge of the ramp to sit all night while you arrive at your destination and wonder where the hell your bags are. If your departure is delayed, 90% of the time it's us, the fueler. Look out the window to the right side if it's a small plane, left side if it's a really big plane. If there's a truck sitting under the wing, we're the reason you're late. Sorry. The industry leading software is about at least 10 years old at its core. If you're someone who purchases bulk nuts, grains, etc, just know that those beans are probably rarely cleaned, and even when they are cleaned, Odds are they were just rinsed out wiped down to look clean. I used to be a bulk buyer at Whole Foods Market and when I took over our bulk department had no cleaning logs or sanitizing procedure. The bins had moths insect colonies and mold in them. Our store was open nearly 5 years prior. The cheapest bottle of wine in the restaurant has the biggest markup. And your $6 glass of sangria might actually just be boxed wine with some fruit in it. You'd be surprised how willingly someone will do their job and even go above and beyond if you just compliment them for their professionalism, politeness and how they are helping them. Not an industry I work in per se, but I used to be in a sales role. One of my customers was a milk bottling plant. I was somewhat surprised that they were putting the exact same milk in both organic and non-organic cartons. Turns out all of their milk is organic, but in order to not miss out on the sales of non-organic milk, they just bottle them differently and sell them at different prices. Construction boy here. If your windows or sliding doors are tough to open and close, 9 times out of 10, 
we put your own dish soap on tracks and the thing works perfectly. It take 5 minutes and we charge 150. Dish soap people. It's better than WD-40 sometimes. Amusement park ride operator here. If your kid is crying and you want us to stop the ride, even if we want to it's not gonna stop immediately. The carousel will spin a few more circles or the ship will swing a few more times before stopping. The only exceptions is the emergency stop which will absolutely F up the ride for a while if we press it. Hence we only use it in actual life threatening situations. The best thing you can do is try to get your kid to calm down as the ride comes to a stop and no. Yelling stop the right lattice does not make it stop any faster. Nobody uses bots to inflate metrics more than the most major players in the entertainment industry. All the numbers are fake, including sales. It costs about $200,000 to put your own book on the top of the New York Times bestseller list. All you have to do is buy a lot of copies yourself. And if that bestseller status helps you sell more books, you can make that $200,000 back by selling the big stock of books you've collected. Everything at the container store exists and is cheaper at Lowe's. They lie to their customers about saving their credit card information because we aren't supposed to. We also save their social, addresses, and 5 of their most recent phone numbers and bank account numbers. The life of a student loan servicer. If in doubt, lubricate I'm a machinist. If in doubt, tighten all the screws and bolts. I maintain heavy machinery. I'm a teacher. If you as a parent will read with your child often and early, your child will thrive in school. I'm talking daily books read together from newborn to about third grade. Every single day, no teacher can replace that. Every client thinks architects are unnecessary and they can draw the plans themselves but they are just too busy. I cannot wait for the day when I can afford to pay an architect to design a home for me. So many of my family members in the old country just designed their homes however the hell they wanted and it's obvious that there was no professional there to say. UHH maybe you shouldn't have a continuously heated pool be the central hub of your home because that'll lead to mold and everything or maybe putting marble tiles on your steep driveway is a bad idea because when it rains your car with literally fing slide into your front door WTF. On the flip side, I have this perception that architects are really expensive to hire, are they? Knowing how to research the answer to a question is at least as or even more useful than knowing the answer to begin with. I made a living in it for a decade with that mindset. At Goodwill, we don't clean anything that we sell, and we get some really gross stuff that touches everything else so next time you buy something from Goodwill, wash it well. Weight loss industry, this might be obvious. But most of our business comes from return clients after they've gained their weight back, and then some. To be clear, the plan isn't rigged to make you gain it back, but the fact that it happens easily as a result of dieting keeps us in business. A lot of successful artists at a certain level of success do nothing more than create a concept and employ several assistants, who are either current or graduating art students, who actually make the art itself, its reproductions or both can 100% vouch for this. I make about the salary of a teacher, less, creating artwork every day for a recognized contemporary sculptor, who then picks up the work from me at the studio, and then sells what I made for hundreds of thousands. But hey man, is idea, in do st rhino rms. As a former tsar worker airport security is out of theater, tsar is constantly failing plain cloths inspections. I worked with a guy who got fired because someone showed him an ID with a picture of Mickey Mouse on it and he let the person through because he wasn't paying attention. This should be pretty obvious, but for big brand hotels, if you try to sneak above the hotel and call the corporate customer care line to demand compensation complain, that customer care line will always call the hotel for the full story and not just blindly give compensation. In Microsoft Office, Word specifically, you can upload recorded interviews and it will transcribe it and ever have speaker 1 and speaker 2, 3 and 4, basically, eliminating a huge annoying part of the job. Federal HR here, if you put the words from the vacancy announcement about what you need to qualify in your resume you'll almost always be qualified. We search for those words instead of reading an entire resume. I'm a musician. It's not really a secret but 90% of our revenue is from merch, Spotify plays, show guarantees, etc. Everything is menial in comparison to shirt sales. In fact, 
A big reason bands tour as often as possible is because we can sell more shirts when we're in front of people. The kind donations people give hoping they go directly to the clients and shelters actually end up at the Salvation Army or Goodwill to be resold. Even though we're instructed to tell them that won't be the case, and this is done before the clients are even given the chance to decide if they want some of the donated stuff. As a beginner counselor I work with a lot of children and adolescents. Consistently the discussion with my colleagues was how it was the parents who were the biggest problem and the kids were just adapting to a crazy environment. Oftentimes I wonder how a patient got to be a certain way, and then I meet their parents, my psychiatrist. Library worker here, the majority of donations we receive do not end up in circulation, on our shelves, no matter how much you demand we put them there once they are donated, the reason why this is, is because we only add items to the collection that we think will circulate, be checked out, most libraries get funding based off of statistics, we don't want to waste shelf space on items that PR aren't checking out, as it won't improve our stats, so. Unless the donated items are brand new, or by popular authors we will not add them to the collection. We will also weed unpopular items from our collection with extreme prejudice for this reason. Much to our patrons horror, these books usually end up being sold at book sales to help generate funding for other library programs. Dude, I love the local library's annual book sale. They do it 4th of July weekend as this is a touristy area, and it's like a 50 cents for paperbacks and $1 for hardcover. Sad as I am that they aren't doing it this year, I am pretty excited because that means it'll be huge next year. I'm a fossil replicator and apparently the industry secret is the fact that we exist. So many people are blown away to learn that most fossils they see in museums are replicas. California, cannabis concentrates, don't trust that the test results are accurate at all. We were demanded, by the business owner to use some dirty methods to cheat on potency testing and pesticide testing. Turns out, those tests can be pretty easy to trick if you know what you're doing. This is ultimately what led to me leaving the industry. Eventually, all of our chemists stopped smoking concentrates altogether for these reasons. Firefighters are trained on several areas and can specialize deeper into certain disciplines. Most of the emergencies we get called to are situations we have never been trained on. But with four of us on a fire truck we can normally figure out a solution. I'm a dentist. Here's the lowdown on toothpaste. As long as it has fluoride they are all basically the same. When I was in dental school the Colgate lady came by and said that everything that says Colgate total on it is all exactly the same. The only difference is the packaging. So whether it says whitening, or gum protection, or whatever else it is all exactly the same. The exception is sensitivity toothpaste typically does have an extra active ingredient, no 3, which helps with sensitivity. Don't ever feel obligated to buy the expensive toothpaste because you think it will be better for your teeth. Just buy whatever you like best. A lot of librarians will waive your fines if you have an excuse and you don't ask too frequently, even large fines. Also, librarians don't care about your fines and aren't judging you. Please come back. We personally have more fines than you. Librarians are always overdue with their books. I don't know if you're from us but I'm new to us. Everything. Rent. Banks. Car rentals. Universities etc etc. Seems to want to overcharge and wrench the last cent out of you for minor forgivable reasons. Except for libraries. I was late on a book. A few days. Wasn't charged. I love the libraries and the library system. They also try their best to get you a book from other locations and librarians are generally kind and polite. Library cards are free. You enter a library and nobody judges you etc for anything. They also recommend not to get our research published with predatory journals etc. You are awesome. The world is in debt of your services. A huge portion of online reviews, ratings, social media presence, etc that you see for any given company are fake, paid for or done by multiple accounts controlled by us. This includes a company's Glassdoor page, fake reviews about how great it is to work there so that the million negative reviews don't crush their page. I'm not saying it's every company out there, but it's been a lot of the ones I've worked for. Source, am copywriter. What are ethics? I surely don't know anymore. If all other vitals are fine, and they're not in any sort of visible respiratory distress, 
Most don't physically count respirations each time vitals are taken. Banks don't have millions of dollars in cash in them. Their insurances rates would be way too expensive. They keep enough on hand to do weekly traffic plus some extra. Yeah there's a reason you need to call them ahead. 24 hours notice. If you intend to withdraw more than 5 to 7 thousand in cash. I work in logistics for a massive manufacturing company. Mun is not effin real. $1,000 for 8 light bulbs. I work in medical devices. I can agree. The numbers are all made up. Whatever it should cost. Add two zeros. Now you know what list is. Cut 40% off that. And that's what a big hospital chain pays. But a little hospital only gets 20% off. Do that a couple of million times a year and you have the tens of billions of dollars in revenue a medical devices company makes. The guy who shows up at your house to make repairs is usually the guy who decides how much to charge you. Standing behind him while he works cost extra. Treating him like sh cost extra. Being nice to him can save you a lot of money. Not so much a secret but a lesser known fact. Kirkland Products, the white label brand from Costco, are independently tested to beat or exceed the industry leading product in that category. Razor blades, cookies, cheese, laundry pods. If it doesn't beat the industry leader, they won't put the Kirkland name on it. The cocktail you just bought might cover the cost of the entire bottle we use to make it. Former industry, commercial radio, it's never call a 5, it's the caller who sounds best on air, I won something on the radio once, the lady DJ called me back on a few minutes, she forgot to record the call, she told me to act excited, it was hilarious, she blamed it on being pregnant, said she had lost her mind. Not really a secret but some wholesale nurseries will sell plants for a fraction less than public nurseries and big box retailers. Like one gallon of a shrub will sell for $16 at Home Depot. But at a wholesale nursery that same plant will cost like $2.06. Edit. Some wholesale nurseries are open to the public. I went to a wholesale nursery once. I had a little printout with a map. A price guide. Price was based on pot size. And a little ruler so you could measure pot diameter. Was a great time. I picked up some nice plants at a great price. Any individual part of flying an airplane isn't difficult. It's 100 small things piling up makes things difficult. As opposed to, say playing the trumpet. Hitting that high note repeatedly is difficult and physically demanding. Landing is easy once you've practiced it a bit. But when it gets difficult you just nope out of there and land somewhere else. Dress codes and other rules bouncers tell you at the door are usually made up on the fly. We are just telling you all diplomatic like that you look like shti. And or that you look poor. Or you look like you'd scare women away from the bar club which basically means you'd cause the club to lose money. Teacher. The parents are more of a hassle than the students. I doubt that is a secret. But there it is. I know a few teachers and this seems to be a pretty common view. One said 30% of his job is teaching. 30% is unnecessary school admin. And 40% is dealing with parents who think they're spoiled little she's a victim of some conspiracy. Piss off one nurse. You piss off all the nurses. If you order a pizza but like to choose your own toppings. It's often cheaper to choose an existing pizza like a meat supreme or something with loads of toppings. Then swap out all the toppings for ones you want, then to go for the create your own option in the menu. Note, this is much less awkward if you order online than on the phone. There's a certain pizza chain website that I discovered will let you apply coupons on pizzas that aren't covered by the coupon. If you mess with it a bit you can stack coupons. Sub out ingredients and get your order down to about 50-60% of the original price even if you don't have coupons that cover what you've actually ordered. Then pay online and pick up in person. I doubt a human ever actually checks your total in the process. This seems to be a secret to many customers. It actually pays off to be patient and polite if you need the staff at a store to resolve an issue or help you with something. Management hates it. They don't generate revenue. Maintenance as well. Same job. Really. Just different types of machines. And it's crazy how little they even notice me considering how much the equipment I take care of is worth. When it comes to retail, if your night crew, day crew just sticks around all day, and doesn't get anything done, leaving all of the work for you. If your day crew, night crew just sticks around all night, and doesn't get anything done, leaving all of the work for you. 
This isn't just retail, I feel this in my hospital job too. The lighter the roast of coffee, the more caffeine it has, not the other way around. So often I'll hear people say I'll take a light roast, I don't want to be up all night after all. Haha, <laughs> remember the caffeine is in the bean at the start. The more you roast it the more caffeine burns off since it's in the natural oils of the bean. I'm not training your dog, I'm training you. Then why don't I get a treat? No one really knows 100% of what they're doing. This should be the last thing they teach you before you leave high school college. Sometimes people won't have the answer, even at the biggest companies. They'll look to you, and you'll need to solve it. And it probably won't be right the first time, but they'll be happy you did it so they can build upon the foundation you started. Whenever you tell someone to check in the back of a grocery store they go back there and stand for a few moments and come back out. 99% of the time of it's not on the shelf we are out but we know you won't believe us so we go look for it so you feel a bit better even though we already knew there was none back there. Home Depot associate here. I've started telling customers straight up that there really isn't a back. Furthermore, I'll often explain how the SKU numbers work and let them know that the item may be in the overhead. Usually while scanning for that same SKU myself, I find many people are really just uninformed, and most customers have been receptive, even helping me look for the item in the overhead. I work at a university, I'm not an academic advisor in any department, but I provide services to them and help them graduate people when it's unclear whether students met all the requirements or not, and the industry secret is that most of you really don't know what you want to do when you start college. The half that say they do are mainly programmed by their parents, go into it, make large dollars, but they have no real idea of what they'd really like. So don't feel weird or a failure if you change majors, it means that you actually looked around and found something you like better. Stats show that students who change majors do better in school than the ones who stick with the major they came in on. This shouldn't actually be a secret, but students don't seem to know it. When I worked in inpatient psych, when a patient does complete suicide even months after care and the staff hears about it, we sit together and cry. We don't actually enjoy carrying people down 11 flights of way to narrow stairs because they have a stub toe. A paramedic friend of mine would refer to trivial non-emergency calls as coughs, colds, and sore holes. Not really a big secret but seems to surprise some. I work in aluminum industry. The reason scrap yards prefer the pull tabs on cans to actual cans is twofold. They typically are denser, can fit more in a bale and more importantly they don't have to inspect. Looking for sealed cans, a single sealed soda can that makes it into a furnace can blow up half a plant and send molten aluminum for hundreds of feet. Auto insurance agent, please, for the love of God, don't tell auto insurance agents more than you have to, they ask you a question, just say yes or no and answer the question as straight as you can, if you go on and on about your life story, you will probably end up saying something you don't have to add making your rate higher or getting yourself declined. We want to get you that policy as cheap as possible. Only tell us what we need to know and don't say anything else. As an auto insurance claims adjuster I second this, and by coverage that protects you, you get what you pay for. 10k property damage liability doesn't cover sh anymore. Said no to most of my questions on life insurance policy. Agent stated it looks more like I need to get a life policy. I think they have to pay out now because he killed you right there. Gym membership contracts don't mean jack sh. Cancel your credit card, or change it to a Visa gift card with no balance, and ride off into the F and sunset. Human resources. We exist to protect the agency from the employees, not the other way around. Donations made to Children's Miracle Network can be used for absolutely anything. Most of the money that comes in at a children's hospital can only be used for specific things. But CMN money comes with no stipulations. Because of this, it's not used for research but spent on upgrading the lobby. Bassinets for healthy babies in the maternity ward. Act. 